This is technically a second part of my previous video. If you haven't watched that video yet, you should go and watch it. You'll find 15 more useful programs. And these programs are actually used by me. Now let's begin with this video. So the first program in the list is called Uniget UI. This is a GUI for Winget and also for chocolatey if you want to use chocolatey. If you don't know what Winget or chocolatey are, they are basically like software repository which are meant to use via command line, but you can use this for GUI. Basically, you'll have user interface. In my opinion, this is like must have program if you're a Windows user. So with this, you can easily find and download any program for Windows. Like for example, I can search for here, let's say VLC and it will provide me a download link for VLC and it actually uses multiple sources like Winget. It even uses the uh, Microsoft Store. It also uses Chocolatey, which I have disabled because I prefer the Winget. So here you can see I have the VLC already installed because there is the check mark there, but I can right click install or I have other options like we can see the package detail and all that, who is providing, you know, all the info about the program that you're downloading. Traditionally, we download the programs by going into the web browser and searching for, for the program and then going to the program's official website and downloading it. You know how it is. But with this, everything is just much easier and simpler. Like you can search here any program that you want to download. Let's say, for example, 7-Zip, so you can see here is our 7-zip. Uh, I'm actually using the Nana zip and I'm pretty sure that is also available here. So you can see here, this is actually a fork of 7-zip, which looks modern. That's the reason I'm using it. And yeah, everything is here. All, almost all the programs that you need are here. Just simply search for them and download them. Another great thing about this program is that you can also update your installed programs. So you can see here, there are programs which requires an update. Epic Games, Chrome, Firefox, and I can update them all or I can individually update them whichever I want. And it also supports some Python, uh, you know, sources like pip. So you can see there are many Python uh, plugins that I can update. So let me actually show you guys by updating just one program here called Yes, because I need to show you guys this at the end of this video. <laughs> okay, this is in the list. And some programs can actually take some time to download and install. And you can also see what's happening in there, like it's downloading and then like installing and all that. You can also see the package details from here, who's providing and all that. So it's installing it right now. So you can see starting package install and it is successfully updated. And this is free and open source project at GitHub. You can go here and download this and learn more about it. Next in the list is called file converter. And this is also free and open source and also must have program. With this, you can convert any files easily and you can also do batch conversion, like multiple files at the same time. This is just insane program if you want to do media conversion and all that. It supports all the media files like images, video formats, audio formats. Once you install this, you can right click. And if you're on Windows 11, you have to click on show more option. And then here you'll see a file converter option. So whichever uh, file you have selected, based on that, it will give you to which format you want to convert. Right now I've selected the PNG image, so I can just go and convert it to GIF or WebP or JPEG or ICON or PDF. So let's say for example, I can convert these images to WebP and it will just, you know, instantly convert and it will show you the results here. So the reason why I convert it to WebP files is because they are smaller in size and they keep the quality. This format is specially designed for the internet, like if you want to upload it to your website or something. They are much smaller compared to the other image format. So you can see here, this one is like 70 uh, kilobytes, but this one and like only 19. It compresses the file. So you can do the same thing with video files like do i have any videos let me see oh i have like really big <laughs> video file that i recently recorded so let's say for example i'm gonna convert my video right click uh show more option if you're on windows 11 and then file converter this is a 
what is this mp4 file okay i can convert it to some other format i can convert it to mkv uh, uh, to mp4 i can decrease the quality and i can also convert it to mp3 like audio format i can also do some basic editing so i'm gonna let's say for example uh, i'm gonna convert it to webm okay so let's do that this is a big file depending on the file size and the format you selected it will take time so this looks like it will take <laughs> a lot of time because it needs to compress the file it's gonna take forever okay so i'm gonna stop it because i don't want to compress it right now so what i'm gonna do is actually just for this demo i'm gonna convert it to let's say for example mkb it's gonna be much faster yeah you can see here it's gonna be much faster because it doesn't need to compress that much because mkb isn't like compressed video format this is actually a really good free and open source program okay so you can go to the official website make sure that you visit this website file dash converter.io this is the official website there is a another fake file converter which looks like this so don't fall for that uh, don't worry in my website you'll find the right link to download this next in the list is called becky this is actually a wallpaper application this is the one that i always use you know almost on every single video people ask me like can i get your wallpaper and all that so this is the software that i use to get the wallpapers <laughs> okay this actually has really good wallpapers okay so let's say for example this one i really like this one so i'm gonna go and select this and set this as a wallpaper you can also save it for later use okay or you can just directly set it from here and look at that this wallpaper looks amazing but uh, there is an ad okay <laughs> there is a premium plan with that you won't get the ad but if you're gonna use it for free you'll get the ad there are also ai generated wallpapers section here you'll see really cool ai generated wallpapers so this was the one that i was using before this one so this one looks really cool i like the dark wallpapers depends like how that looks and all that there is also a category okay you can select and choose whichever category you prefer and use the wallpaper now uh, you don't have to ask me in the comments for my wallpapers okay and just use this and go to the latest uh, section or most popular section you'll find my wallpaper the next is called winfr gui this is a completely like 100 percent file recovery software this is actually a gui for a program from microsoft called windows file recovery and this program can only be used through terminal so it's not user friendly so what this program does is actually provides you the gui graphical user interface so you can use this easily without any terminal or knowledge so here it will also show you all the storage devices that are connected to your pc and you can select the one where you have deleted your files completely even if the files are also deleted from the recycle bin you can use this to recover so there is the quick scan option and also deep scan option so first go for the quick scan it will quickly scan for the deleted files and then if you don't see your files with the quick scan go for the deep scan and hopefully you'll find your deleted files next is called microsoft pc manager this is a official pc cleaner plus pc booster application from microsoft and it is actually good i still have to make a dedicated video in this why this is actually a good pc cleaner plus booster i don't care about all the features i only care about the you know pc cleaning stuff in this which is actually really good and i'm actually switching to pc manager from bleach bit i just recently found out that this thing is actually better than bleach bit next is called obs studio this thing is like must have program if you're a streamer gamer or you make tutorials or you just record your screen this thing is just absolutely amazing this is free and open source program and also really powerful program for almost everything screen recording streaming game recording it is good at everything almost everybody uses 
OBS Studio for recording the videos, gameplays, or even streaming. For new users, this can be overwhelming because there are too many options and all that. But once you learn it, there is nothing better than this. There are many, many screen recording or uh, streaming softwares out there. Uh, most of them are paid, but this is completely free and also way better than those softwares. Guess what? Yeah, let me show you guys. I'm using OBS right now to record everything. I actually use multiple OBS studios too. You can have multiple instances. You can have multiple OBS studios set up in different ways, like for streaming, different OBS studio. You can also combine everything in one place with the scenes and sources, but I like to, you know, have multiple OBS studios for doing different things for streaming different one for recording different one so i can also use the keyboard shortcuts just like this again as i said if you're into video recording and streaming you should use obs studio it is actually really good next in the list is called yasb the top bar or status bar that you see at the top is actually the program itself. And this is a free and open source project at GitHub called YASP or yet another status bar for Windows. You may have seen this similar status bar or top bar on Mac or Linux, but Windows doesn't have. So if you want that, this is probably the best option that you have. There are a couple of other programs which provides you the top bar, but in my opinion, this is the one and only like good and stable top bar for Windows. I also did a dedicated video on this. You can also theme it. There are multiple themes that you can select, or if you want to customize it by yourself, yeah, you can also customize and all that and that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye